Hey guys, I just decided to do a video of, of this Asahi portable fan hooked up to a 110 volt voltage regulator. The reason why I decided to hook this up to a 110 volt voltage regulator is to kind of slow it down when you need to do a little. Because the low speed on, on many Filipino made fans is just way too fast. Or any fans made, or any fans from Philippine companies, often the low speed is just too fast. So if I decided to turn on that because I'm hot, I'll turn it off when I turn this on. So, anyways, to fix the problem of this fan having a way too fast low speed, I'll show it to you later. I decided to bring this trans, this Akari brand transformer up to up to the room, and you know, hook this fan up to it. And also another really cool, interesting thing is this has got a servo motor. I'm not sure what the servo motor is for. It's it maybe it's to make the voltage more accurate. First of all, I'm actually gonna give you a quick shot of that. I'm gonna unplug, unplug the fan first and give you a shot of that. Yeah, there's that. For a moment, the voltage was under voltage. So I'm assuming that the servo motor actually. Fix this that. So, yeah. Anyways, now I'm gonna hook this fan up and slide it off on low speed. This might be a speed that you might use a lot if we have the air conditioner turned on. This transformer is rarely ever used. I think the only one who really uses it is my cousin who plays guitar and he might hook up American amplifiers to it, which require 110 volt. So, yeah. Here it goes, low speed. Perfect low speed in my opinion. Could be even slower, if, if you ask me actually. This is about the speed of the ever so slow low speed of many newer DC fans. Which seem to often have to a very low low speed just because they know that that's often what consumers need. And the Emasu pedestal fan my diary has a pretty slow low speed as well. Moves about the same amount of air as this and low. I don't know, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less. I'm gonna get some tissue and give you like a little airflow test. I read that running a 220 volt, volt appliance and 110 volt may harm the wiring, but if it does, it'll, it but it should blow it, it should just blow the breaker if it does. If it if it does blow the breaker, well, I'll not do it again. I don't know why it would harm the wiring, but it might if it's taken to the extreme, like may like maybe really undervolted. But this is just 220 and 110. Not not exactly sure. If it'll actually do much harm but since many ceiling fans have voltage based controllers since many of them rely on voltage reduction for speed for speed change i thought why not do the same with the portable fans because this is pretty much what i'm doing it's almost like hooking up a voltage base a voltage transformer based speed regulator of a ceiling fan over to this anyway because then it's medium I really like the, the range of speed they got of this. Now this is actually almost like a low speed of many Hong Kong fans or many American or British fans. 
here's high speed on the transformer. This is pretty much like the medium speed of many Hong Kong fans. And yeah. I really like the range of speed we got of this. Quiet. Look like that. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm gonna bring it back to regular voltage just for the sake of it. Yeah. There's low speed. As you can see, it's just way too fast. It's like the high speed for many Hong Kong fans and British fans. Medium. Hi. Check out the other video if you want to see the speed in full. But anyways, that it. I'm actually gonna leave it hooked up the 220 volt. It's actually pretty hot right now, so I'm just gonna leave it like this, running in low at 220 volt. So anyways, if you're wondering about the oscillation, it just it does not work. So yeah, anyways. If you're new, feel free to check out my channel, and if you like my videos, feel free to